Okay, we have all these IP addresses that we have to sort through, which, as you know, when you filter things, you sort it A to Z, and numbers, okay, it'll go A to Z, but it doesn't recognize these decimals in here. So you have 0 0.0, 0 0.1, then it goes 0 0.10, 0 0.1101, and you don't want them sorted that way. You want them sorted by IP order. So what you have to do is you actually have to go through a, uh, you have to separate each one of these columns. So what you're going to do is your text to column, you're going to delimitate them, meaning separate them. You want to separate them by the category of the period a dot and see how it's separating each one by the dot and then you can be able to sort through each one. And you want to move them to a new column. So where do you want to move them to? So down here you're going to move them to I want them in B, C, D, and E. Or well B, C, D, E, yeah. And then you see you have four columns, four columns and it'll separate them. Finish. See now how it separates each individual one. So what you do now is you have this top row. Remember how we sorted it through here? You can just re-click that filter button and now you got the sorts. And then what you do is you highlight, highlight each column. And now I also want to sort them by each individual category. So it'll sort this one first, and then this one, then this one, and then this one, and it'll make them in order go through our sort thing. So up here where you have sort, you click the sort. So now you're going to do your categories. So you want them column B, sort it next, add another level. Column C, add another level. Column D, add another level. Column E, and you hit OK. And see now how everything is sorted. Your 10.0.0.1279 10, 11, 12, and all the way through. And it will sort everything, and as you go through, how it sorts it all the way down. And you got 255. Now it moves to the next one, 1, and then 0, and sorts it all the way down. Now to figure out, let's just go down to the next one of these next ones. And if you're trying to Instead of counting them, you can actually do another part too to find out if there's the 0 through 255. Otherwise, you got to sit there and count them. So you kind of just go from 0, scroll down to 255. If we get down there, and we're going. And we hit it. And you hit Shift, left click and see how it has 253. It should be 256. That means we're missing some numbers. So this is one of the ones you're probably going to have to sort through and count and figure out which IP address was not in the list. Um, but that's basically how you can go through and go through your IP address and scan through them if you're doing reports to find out which ones are missing. Um, and then you'll be able to go through everything like that.